shouldn't home plate be facing up? Hey everybody, welcome to Miami, Florida. We are at Marlins Park, home of the Miami Marlins, formerly the Florida Marlins. Actually, the last time I saw this team, it was the Florida Marlins, and they changed stadiums and names back in 2012, I believe. The last time I saw them was at Joe Robbie Stadium, which is a little ways away up the road. But we're here today to check out the Marlins playing the Philadelphia Phillies. Right now, towards the end of the season, Miami Marlins, 30.5 games out of first place in the National League East. But the records don't matter to me as I want to be able to check out Marlins Park and all that it has to offer outside. We have the fifth base and to the right of it, some batting cages. It looks like they have a domino tournament going on here today. Let's check out what's inside. They actually do have a dominoes tournament going on. It's air conditioning here. We've got a bar, Bud Light, five bucks. Pepsi, Aquafina, two dollars a piece. That's extremely reasonable. They have a stage for a band with the most microphones I've ever seen in one place at one time. So I asked, the band actually starts after the game, so they're gonna start sometime around like eight o'clock or so tonight. We'll come back out here on the way out and check it out. There's a little photo op dealio happening here too. Let's take a look at the stadium before we go in. Team store is open before the game. And we've got some fans waiting to go in. Gates open in eight more minutes. Tonight, Phillies and Marlins. The store is wall to wall, Marlins goodness. Now it is the players weekend this weekend, so you have nicknames of the popular players on the team and all white and all black versions of the hats. And they do have a lot of hats. To the left, of the players weekend jersey we have the throwback Marlins jersey sleeveless I remember when these jerseys came out they were so awesome lots of shirts game used jerseys for sale you can get a Donny baseball game used jersey or Curtis Branderson we got some throwback styles here and we have these dry fit shirts with Miami on the front and different countries represented on the back. I dig this shirt too, 305. Repping the area code for Miami. Now that is awesome. They have it on like a tan color too. Okay, I should note that I came here repping my Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp hat. We have a friend of the channel that had worked at the Marlins for a while, tried to get us onto the game for a very long time. Last year we could never fit in a schedule and now over at the Jumbo Shrimp, which is the double A affiliate of the Miami Marlins. It's dedication plaque 2012, Marlins Park, dedicated to the citizens of Miami. So we're in the home plate entrance, heading upstairs. We've collected our free Billy the Belly bobblehead giveaway for today. We've made it in. Here's our first look at the field. You see the seats are now all dark blue. And the statue that was out in the outfield removed. Batting practice is on. There's some ball hawks out there. Let's go see what's happening. Directly across from us is the Clevelander section. That's where our tickets were originally until we realized we need to be 21 and up to be in that section. This didn't make the mark. The Marlins organization was great though. We reached out to them, told them that we had made a mistake and they relocated us. Just in that section over there. We'll check that out in a moment. Miami's best pizza. La Peppa. Right here, Fox Sports. The sports desk commentating during the game. Got the foul pole. I love that name. Next to the foul pole, it's Top Dog. They have a kosher girl also. It's not open yet, but they've got pastrami. Chicken sandwiches, hamburgers, a change-up featuring chicken wings, 
including Captain Tom's favorite, cauliflower wings. They have like a little grab and go store here too, presented by Pepsi. Goya presents Lo Cucina. You get some Cuban sandwiches and yuca nachos. And right outside of Familia Faves, we've got this open eating area here in a bar. Watch batting practice from the railing. By the way, I want to mention at Familia Faves, they have the 305 menu this year, which includes hot dogs, popcorn, pretzels, all at $3. Nachos, water, and soft drinks, also $3, and beers, five bucks. Here we are, just over the outfield wall. make our way down see how batting practice is going from this location We've got toss-ups happening there little girl So one of the coolest features about Marlins Park that I always wanted to check out, they had this bobblehead museum located out in the outfield. All kinds of bobbleheads from all teams, and mascots and promotional items, and they're always shaped. Chipper Jones. Some of the best ones are promotional tie-ins. We have a lot of Star Wars here, including a Philly fanatic as a rebel pilot. And bobblehead Game of Thrones. Here he is, the man, the myth, the legend. Mustard, of course, not Mr. Oh no, I'm serious. Mr. Met. Mr. Met. Chorizo with his own bobblehead as well. But look at this Hulk. It doesn't bobble very much. Paul Monitor is a bobbling maniac. Whitey well, Herzog. Randy Johnson. Hank Aaron. And these guys show it's not the size of the figure, it's how you bobble. Jim Palmer. Are the Orioles ever going to be a contender? Here's Billy the Marlin. Billy McFly? Billy is a two-time World Series champion. Even Rush Limbaugh gets a bobblehead. Snoopy? Cheech and Chong? Is that Dave? Mr. Clean? Right under Ron Burgundy? The goat? Ken Griffey Jr. is not bobbling. Or does he have a big head? DJ Kali! And another. Steve Strasberg. Matt Kemp. Last but not least, Willie Sturgill. When I was a kid, I dialed into her sports radio show. Spoke to Willie Sturgill. I was on cloud nine. And so, while we're looking at the bobbleheads, I moved from where I was standing for foul balls, and a ball landed there. That is my luck. We have our first game buttons and we'll be back over here at Billy's Boathouse in the fifth inning because Billy the Marlin does a meet and greet here during the fifth. We've got a virtual batting cage happening here too. And we take a look out of the windows in the outfield. Nice shot downtown Miami. BP is over. We're over by one of the party decks. We've got cheerleaders down below. By the way, this is a retractable roof stadium. It's my first time going to a baseball game in a retractable roof stadium or any sporting event. Roof closed right now. The folks parading around the warning track are celebrating Dominican heritage. At Novicetto, they have Argentinian food. Empanadas, ham and cheese, chicken or steak, ceviche, they've got sushi, there we are. making our full lap around. 
Now we've got cheerleaders out and the band playing. Whoa, we've got the Fruity Pebbles pretzel. They call it the cereal encrusted pretzel, but this thing is a monster. It basically has caramel all around the outside of it and cereal sticking to it. I do not see how this is gonna end well or cleanly. time for something that is not related to the culture of this town. I am not going to pick this up with my hands because it is far too sticky. We've got a pool out in the outfield, and look at this view. This is where our seats were originally for this game, but in order to sit in this section, 21 and up. And as you can see, they have a menu here with weight service. There's a prime spot for balls. Someone getting to throw up over there. And this is such a cool area. If you go over here, inside this glass, you can see the bullpens. That is freaking awesome. Got a DJ going on here, bar. This place is awesome. What a cool view. In the pool view. Outside we've got some cornhole. More tables to sit around. Got kind of like a mini Marlins wall of fame here as we're going back up the escalator. We will be back in the Clevelander later. I will get in that pool. This is the view from the seats that we ended up with. Not too shabby, section 17. We're showing some highlights from yesterday's game. The Marlins actually beat the Phillies 19 to 11 the day before we're here. The Marlins already scoring a run in the first inning. No outs. So you guys are gonna laugh. I brought my glove, Big Daddy Cool, and I'm wearing it. The second time ever at a Major League Baseball game this year because a girl right down there just had a foul ball bounce off of her head. Right after I said that, that guy just caught a ball. What the heck? I don't know how well you can see, but down around home plate, it's a huge fish tank. Another foul ball. Couldn't hold on to it. One thing that's really cool because of Players Weekend, not only do they have their nicknames on the back of their jerseys, but on the scoreboard you can see everybody's nicknames. So you see like Starlin Castro is all Starlin. We've got empanadas to eat. One is ham and cheese, the other one is steak. Mary's got a Cuban, is it good? Phillies on the board now with a three-run home run. Straight to where State Farm is. Folks in the Clevelander get a souvenir. Ham and cheese in it. It's really weird. It's delicious, but what a weird thing with flaky crust. It's only the third inning, and we've already got a conference happening on the mound. Still in the third, Mattingly's out. We're getting the pitching change. 
Johnny Baseball on the mound. Some change pitchers. Tyler Kinley in. We just walked home a run. We're back to bases loaded for the Phillies. This inning is absolutely brutal. Six to one so far. We've got six runs scored. Top of the fourth. The Marlins are finally out of the inning. Here online to meet Billy the Marlin. Billy the Marlin's over here doing Marlin things. Billy the Marlin. You're on TV, buddy. You're looking good. We met Billy, we are walking around. I like that they have TVs out in the outfield. Not only in the club seats, but just all the way around. Out in the bullpen now, we're back in the Clevelander. We've got stretching happening. We've got a wave happening out there. And nobody in the pool. The crowd in the Clevelander is busy watching University of Miami and University of Florida playing some football. We've got action in the bullpen now. And we're still 6-2 at the bottom of the sixth. It had to get done. I didn't make this trip not to go in that pool. Top of the eighth, fills up nine to three. The window is closing here with two outs, nine to three, bottom of the eighth. The Marlins have more activity going on in here in the bullpen. And the Marlins go down. Let's see if action happens from the bullpen now. Is the call coming? Indeed it does. It's a relief pitcher trotting out to the mound. All right, Marlins, we are getting out of here. It was a really fun game. I love the entire experience. The pool was just too cool. I love the whole setup. We'll definitely have to make it back out here again next year and maybe stay for a series against the Mets. On that note, thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys.